The iPhone 16 is less than six months away, and if you're not sure about waiting for the 16 or getting the 15 right now, here are the top 15 biggest rumor changes of the entire iPhone 16 lineup. In this video, you get better guidance for upgrade your phone. But please, before starting, don't forget to subscribe for more updates and also press the bell icon. So firstly, the Pro models are expected to come with larger displays, with the 16 Pro going from 6.1 inches to 6.3 inches and the 16 Pro Max from 6.7 inches to 6.9 inches. Interestingly, despite the increase, the Pro models won't significantly grow in size. The 16 Pro Max is said to be getting slightly taller 3.1mm in height and wider 0.9mm respectively, while the 16 Pro is increasing by 3mm in height and 0.85mm in width. Moreover, thinner bezels are anticipated across all four models. Achieved through Apple's border reduction structure, BRS technology, they would now be equal between all four models rather than just the Pro models having the thinner bezels. The second significant upgrade rumored for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is a new main camera sensor. This is set to be 1 over 1.14 inch in size from the current one over 1.28 inches or a 12% larger size, which could give us better low eye performance, more background blur, and a number of other enhancements to noise reduction and dynamic range in reality. While the impact of the new sensor might not be drastic, it's still an exciting development, marking the first upgrade to the main sensor since the iPhone 14 Pro's additional the Pro models are slated to receive an upgrade to the ultra-wide camera with a new 48 megapixel sensor likely featuring pixel binning and Pro RAW support. This upgrade promises to deliver a higher quality photos, a welcome addition to the lineup. For photo editing purposes, it's advisable to use the main module on the iPhone due to its higher resolution and Pro RAW support, which significantly enhances editing capabilities. Another camera upgrade rumored for the iPhone 16 Pro is concerning the dual photo modules. Several sources have reported that the 16 Pro will feature the same 5X periscope module introduced in the 15 Pro Max last year. While the upgrade in zoom quality from the 5X to the 15 Pro's 3X wasn't significant, those transitioning from older iPhones with only a 2X module will likely appreciate this improvement. The fifth significant upgrade expected for the iPhone 16 lineup is larger batteries. Apple plans to adopt a stacked battery design with increased capacities, including 4,676 mAh for the iPhone 16 Pro Max, up from 4,222 mAh, and 3,355 mAh for the iPhone 16 Pro, up from 3,274 mAh. Additionally, there are rumors of faster charging capabilities, with wired charging potentially reaching 40 watts compared to the current 20 watts, and MagSafe charging increasing to 20 watts from the current 15 watts. This upgrade is much needed, as the iPhone's charging speed has been comparatively slower, taking around 30 minutes to reach 50% while other phones like the Xiaomi 14 Ultra can charge to 100% in the same time frame. Any improvement in charging speed will be greatly appreciated by users. At sixth, leaked information for Apple's chip lineup suggests that all four iPhone 16 models will use the same A18 chip, but Apple may still separate these into an A18 and an A18 Pro. It does seem like that the A18 and the A18 Pro will be quite similar. It could just be that A18 is a binned version of the A18 Pro. The next generation A18 chip that's planned for the iPhone 16 Pro models could feature an upgraded neural engine with significantly more cores, allowing for improved AI, machine learning performance, plus it is expected to have a larger die size. At 7, rumors also suggest that Apple is addressing overheating issues with a new thermal system for the iPhone 16 lineup. Overheating was notably an issue with the iPhone 15 Pros at launch, and the device tends to thermal throttle quickly during intense tasks, unlike many Android counterparts that utilize vapor cooling chambers. While Apple may not incorporate vapor cooling chambers, they are reportedly exploring a graphene thermal system instead. Although the effectiveness of this system remains uncertain, Apple holds patents related to it. Additionally, the highlight feature of A18 chips is expected to be the upgraded neural engine with significantly more more cores. This will play a big role in the eighth big change, which is AI. 
The AI is set to be one of the key selling features of the iPhone 16 series, with Apple working on some generated AI tools by themselves, and then also considering a partnership with Google, the idea is that they want to seriously improve Siri and add AI features in a lot of their other first party apps to better compete in the AI space, something that Apple is heavily behind. And aside from the upgraded neural engine, we are also said to be getting some updated microphones to help with voice pickup and therefore this entire AI experience with the new Siri. Of course, there's a lot to unpack here when it comes to AI in the iPhone 16. Another noteworthy addition of action button to the iPhone 16s too, so it will no longer be a pro exclusive feature. This will now be available across the entire lineup. Notably, the action button is also getting bigger, addressing concerns about its small size. In fact, based on the lead CAD models, it would be almost as big as one of the individual volume buttons, making it far easier to reach and press. Additionally, another exciting addition to the iPhone 16 lineup is the introduction of a secondary action button called the Capture Button, primarily designed for camera functions. Positioned on the bottom right-hand side of all four models, this button will offer various functionalities. Users can half-press it to focus, and fully pressing it will capture photos or videos. Since it will be a capacitive button, swipe gestures can be used to zoom in and out. This feature is anticipated to be more eagerly anticipated than the larger action button, as having a dedicated button button for camera control is both convenient and powerful. Another notable change for the iPhone 16 lineup is the availability of more storage options, including a maximum capacity of 2 terabytes. Despite being a rumored feature in previous years, there's a higher likelihood of it materializing this time around, especially with the introduction of the capture button, which may encourage users to capture even more photos and videos, particularly for those shooting in ProRAWs format who require ample storage space. However, it's worth mentioning that the 1 terabyte models may experience slower read and write speed as Apple is reportedly seeking cost reductions in this area. The final rumored change for the iPhone 16 lineup is the introduction of Wi-Fi 7, expected to be exclusive to the iPhone 16 Pro models only, and this is actually a pretty big deal, as it supports theoretical speeds of up to 46 gigabytes per second, or almost five times higher than Wi-Fi 6E. While current internet connections don't reach such speeds, the potential of Wi-Fi 7 is immense. Future Wi-Fi 7 enabled devices like MacBooks and routers could enable lightning fast connections comparable to or even faster than 10 gigabit ethernet including Wi-Fi 7 in the iPhone 16 Pro models is seen as a move towards future proofing the devices ensuring they remain compatible with upcoming advancements in wireless technology so that's wrap up of Toadie's video on the upcoming iPhone 16 lineup from larger displays and improved cameras to faster charging and advanced AI features, the iPhone 16 promises to be a game changer. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates and also press the bell icon. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.